monitor screen. On the 6th of December 2018, Paul Stenton, who is playing Malfer, posted to the Doctor Who Missing Episodes discussion group about recreating Mission to the Unknown. He had posted earlier in October to find more information about the missing serial, and asked about original photographs. Many people at first were skeptical about the authenticity of this recreation, especially when it mentioned Terry Nation Estate and the BBC backing. Whispers of this production being true came from Peter Purvis's Twitter feed when he left various clues. Then on the 19th of February 2019, he revealed what the project really was. At first, it was unsure what scale this production was going to take. Then images were released, showing that this was a serious production with effective production values and has an eye on an official BBC release. More detail! Explain! Explain! The production is being undertaken by the University of Central Lancashire. The cast and crew are students, staff and postgraduates who have come together to recreate this episode in painstaking detail. The episode was recorded over a three-day period with a multi-camera setup similar to the original production. The only difference is this crew get three days instead of one, which is a bit more appropriate really. This project is the brainchild of the University Vice-Chancellor, Dr. Andrew Ireland, who is a lifelong fan of Doctor Who, who had always been intrigued by this curious episode. Mission to the Unknown wasn't like other episodes at the time. It was a single episode rather than a multiple episode story. It didn't feature the Doctor or any companions. It was created as a prequel to the 12 part epic, The Daleks Master Plan. Sadly, it is missing from the BBC archives. I go into further detail into its status in the archive in my video series, The Missing Episodes. This is a glorified fan film! Cancel it! Cancel! Unlike many fan-made Doctor Who recreations, this one has permission from the Terry Nation estate and the BBC. It also features Nicholas Briggs as the voice of the Daleks. Their set and costume recreations have been designed to be as accurate to what could have been. We've been going to and from the scrapyard quite a lot to collect bits of rubbish to make it look like it's from the 60s, but I think we've replicated it quite well. It is being shot in 4x3 black and white, using camera techniques that mimic the 1960s style of Doctor Who. Four sets were constructed, the conference room, the jungle, interior of the space shuttle, and the Dalek control room. Excitingly, Peter Purvis, who played Stephen Taylor, and Edward D'Souza, who played Mark Corey, paid the set a visit to see the episode being filmed. How can I watch this? The release of this episode is up in the air. They plan on handing a copy to the BBC, and it is up to them to decide what to do with it. Hopefully, due to the amount of discussion online, the BBC see it as a great home media extra, maybe something to go alongside a full Dark's master plan animation, or at least something for the BBC YouTube channel. Will there be more recreations? I think it's too soon to say. The greatest part of the Mission to the Unknown is that it doesn't feature any doctors or companions, so it's easy to accept these new actors as these characters. Finding a replacement for William Hartnell or Peter Purvis, for example, could be a lot harder for audiences to accept, for these are actors we know and love. Therefore, animations are a safe and frankly cheaper option to representing missing episodes, so I don't see the BBC jumping at recreations anytime soon. But it doesn't hurt to speculate, does it? wanted to recreate as many missing episodes as possible. I said at one point, just lock the doors and we'll do Marco Polo. Come on! <laughs> Information! What do you prefer? Recreations or animations? Answer! Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Doctor Who content.